Hello, this is uh, Mercer from October Gallery, and we're here at October Gallery on a bright Sunday morning in March. And I got two fabulous artists here. I have the beautiful Gail Hunter, Hi. and I have the handsome, dashing Don Stevens. <laughs> okay, Gail, why don't you introduce yourself and tell me why you're an artist? Okay, well, um, I'm an artist because I like color. And uh, it's very easy to throw some color on a canvas or on some paper and let it uh, inspire me and lift my mood. And um, the first medium that I worked with uh, was pastels. And uh, it's just so easy to use pastels and get something that you can feel good about. Um, oil and even, oh, especially watercolor are more difficult to uh, work with if you really want to uh, like m manipulate them with any efficiency. So pastels and acrylics to me are the easiest to like just get some kind of expression out. And I'm at a point in my life where I need myself reflected somewhere I guess because <laughs> that's what's keeping me going with being able to uh, create something outside of myself and have it um, just recognized not just by others but recognized as something valuable to myself. Okay, Don? Why be an artist? Why, why, why an artist? Why, 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 why not? <laughs> why, why not? I mean, you need us in everything. We're the glue. Art is the glue to everything. Education, psychology, philosophy, all of that. For me, why be art is, why, why I just do art, this has been a lifelong endeavor. Ever yeah. since I was small. So it was an impression <laughs> with me from when I was younger, mm -hmm. from five on. You know, watching Charlie Brown, Snoopy, all these little specials on TVs and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Living in New York and seeing a graffiti and all of that and running around with that. Uh, me, it's just all about connection. You connect to something and something connects to you. So there's causality, there's action and reaction happening. For me, it's all about the experience. Art is all about the experience and the experience you're going to have with it. So why not be an artist? Yeah. You know, be a painter, be a performing artist, right. be a musician. But, be fearless. Yeah, but be more so a painter. You know, if you're tired of him when they say art, they just say music and other things. we got to start making the visual artists stand out, the plastics. The plastics. Yeah, I like that. Mm -hmm. That's good. Wow. You know, I, I interviewed an artist years ago, and I said, how long have you been an artist? Tell me when you started. And she said, I used to eat my crayons as a kid. There you go. <laughs> That's where it started. Was that me. What, tell, me about that. tell me about that. Tell me uh, well, how you got started. All right, well, it's, it's a funny story. Uh, one day, I was, you know, in an apartment. We were living in Brooklyn, me and my mother, and she's cooking in the kitchen. So, you know, you know how black women are, they doing their thing in the kitchen, they don't want to be bothered. So I come in the kitchen and I'm a normal little kid, and I'm saying, hey mom, hey mom, hey mom. She's like, boy, go in there and watch TV, do what you do. Snoopy and him was on, and the special that normally comes on every year is the uh, special that shows him being the Red Baron, and he's on top of the, the, the doghouse having this battle and everything else, and the music's going, doom, 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 and I'm listening to that, and I'm in my Fruit of and I'm doing this. And I'm getting all into it, and I took out a piece of paper, and I threw it down on the floor, and I just started drawing. I didn't know what I was doing. I just started drawing it. Mm. Took it in there to my mom. She said, oh, you didn't do that. You traced it. I was like, no, I didn't trace it. Challenge. That was my first challenge. Mm. I went and ran and did another one. Mm. It was still on. Dun, 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 dancing my food room. I'm getting it and everything. Mm. Yeah. Brung it back, made her hang up the phone. She was like, hold on a second, girl. Uh. The phone. You did that? Okay, then she started pulling out things, pulling out the eggs, pulling out everything that was around us just to keep me busy, to keep her, keep me out of her hair. Mm -hmm. But she didn't realize what she was training. Wow. She was training an observant, creative individual, <coughs> unpronounced to her. Wonderful. So I just carried it on from there. It's been a lifelong endeavor. And it will, I'll be just like uh, uh, most of the other artists, you know. That you have paintings of artists that, you know, painted coming out. They had one guy, he painted himself coming out the wound and then painting himself in a casket going, you know, I think Norman Rockwell did that. He painted himself really? in succession in time, showing what he would be doing even to his death out of the casket, his hand is coming out. Oh, I believe that's going to be me, but <laughs> the next level of that would be me coming out of the ethers with my hand coming down, <laughs> still creating, so I don't want to stop. I'm always going to be creating. It's, it's never going to stop. Can't stop, won't stop.
Gail, Gail, yeah. what about you? Now, I know you're a fabulous singer, Thank and you're too modest to mention that, so I'm going to <laughs> mention you. that. So, you're in the performing arts and the visual arts, mm -hmm. so when did art start for you? Well, um, my mom brought me a paint-by-number set, and I was doing it one day, and uh, she painted in the kitchen. And I jumped up and stepped on my painting, which was wet, and stepped on the carpet and mm -hmm. made a mess. You know, to run to her, and um, after that, it kind of like made me not want to paint anymore. Oh. It was a traumatic experience. Sorry. But um, I studied art history in um, Pasadena City College mm -hmm. in my early twenties because I just loved the idea of art, Chinese art, you know, and especially European art. Um, but then, as I, I always said that I would paint, you know, later in life because I tried to take painting and drawing, but the investment in the materials was just um, exorbitant and I couldn't do it. So uh, I said, well, I'll do it later. And uh, later came around. I got an opportunity to create um, a fiber, a fiber, what is it called? Fiber structure? Insulation. <clears throat> a fiber art structure um, at Broad and Girard okay. uh, because I was teaching there at um, a rehab center and they needed something to go in the window. And I went and found all these. Um, you know, pieces of material, and I made something, and um, I, that's something I really want to do. You know, in the future, like use fiber art. I think it's just so beautiful. Well, right, right now I sew because I am fascinated with textiles. Okay, so I guess that's how I, I kind of sublimated that desire. But um, as far as painting, I kind of hit a wall. Um, it might have been my midlife crisis or whatever, but I hit a wall uh, after two uh, twenty. Um, 2001, 9 11. And I just said, the only way, you know, I'm going to use this, you know, to come back, you know, bounce back. And I did. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So I just keep moving. But music is my first love. That's my first love. And it's more accessible. <laughs> it's easier, <laughs> you know, to, to do music than uh, to actually paint. Mm -hmm. Because right now I have a space issue. I really want to work very large and I have no place to do that. You have to transport it and mm -hmm. store it. I'm like, mm -hmm. well, I can't really make any more art because mm -hmm. I have nowhere to put it. Okay, we're going to come back to that. <laughs> okay, this, Gail, tell us how we can get in touch with you. Uh, okay. Well, um, gailhunter.com, and you spell my name G-A-I-L-L-E, hunter.com, and um, I have a new identity, Gypsy Heart. Uh, Gypsy Heart is an, an original blues singer. <laughs> I wrote 40 blues songs last year, and I have a producer now. His name is Ed Wise. He's from New Orleans. <clears throat> he's a band leader, and he's, uh, we're, we're working on our seventh song right now. I'm going to perform some today at this fabulous Sunday brunch. You got to start coming to Sunday gotta brunch. Check the out food the waffles. Is so good. <laughs> the waffles. The food mm -hmm. is excellent. And it's, you know, really an education so you can learn to eat healthier and nourish yourself in a way that will um, Don't be scared benefit not to try you meat. <laughs> down the line. Just put it off the plate. Just do you have a phone number, email address you want to give uh, the audience? Okay, I'm at Gmail, Hunter Gale at Gmail. And again, that's G A I L L E at gmail.com. And um, uh, not a phone number. Okay, that's fine. No. <laughs> All right. Don, how do you get in touch with you? Uh, he just call Mercer. Call him on okay. his special phone, okay. and he's like this Batman. He'll put the light up in the, in the air, and I'll just come descending down and just do all the creative things you need. I, and, I uh, love Batman. Batman is my favorite. He'll put my decoder up in the sky. You know? But the main way you can catch me is uh, Facebook is one place. You can go Facebook.com, and you go D Steez Pro. So it's backslash D E E S T E E P R O. Then you can go to artwanted.com, so that's artwanted.com, like how it sounds, in the same nomenclature, D Steve's Pro. Yeah, I'm an artwanted too. Yeah. Oh, and you can call me, I don't mind, 609-954-6775. Okay. Call me, text me the whole nine. Okay, for October Gallery, I'm Mercer, and I'm here with Gail Hunter and Don Stevens. Thanks a lot. Bye. Right, take it easy.